How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat. And in today's lesson we'll be looking at reflection, so let's get to it. Now reflection is when a shape is flipped over a line. An easy way to understand this is imagining a mirror and how objects appear when viewed in the mirror. If I place a mirror right in front of this figure, what you'll see on the other side is the exact same size and shape, but the images are opposite and reversed. That's something important to remember in reflection. The figure will never change size or shape, but will just be reversed onto the other side. If you remember that particular point, it will help you easily eliminate some of the given choices on any reflection questions that may come up in your test. Okay, so if you've never learnt about reflection before, the two main question types you'll need to know about is reflection over a horizontal line or reflection over a vertical line, which is the line going up. Starting with the vertical line, you can see the triangle here needs to be reflected. By imagining a mirror directly here, we can see what will happen once this triangle is reflected over the vertical line. The end result is that the shape is the same, but if you take a look, all that really occurred is that the points are now on exactly opposite sides. Now you can see that the reflection line is over the horizontal axis, which means we have to flip the triangle down. So once again, imagining there's a mirror in front of that line, the end result is the triangle being flipped to look like this. Now that the main concept of reflection is out of the way, I'll now go through some of the common exam style questions. It says which figure is a reflection of the figure on the left. Circle the correct letter. Straight away we can see that this is a reflection over a vertical line, so if we zoom in, we now know that this edge will be on the opposite side. It's currently on the right, and because it's been reflected, it should end up on the left. So if I just reflect it right now across this line, this is what the answer will look like. And by going over the possible figures, the answer is B. Let's move on to the next question. Which figure is a reflection of the figure on the left? Circle the correct letter. OK, once again, it's a vertical reflection, which means everything moves to the opposite side. This triangle that's on the right should appear on the left once reflected, and this shape here should move from the left to the right-hand side. One thing to remember is that the size doesn't change, therefore we can start eliminating any wrong figures, so D and C in fact are smaller than the original question. Therefore we can cross those off, and then just by looking at position we know that since it's only reflecting vertically, the shapes wouldn't move up or down, so we can also cross A and E off leaving us with B as the answer. Now if we double check it by flipping it, the shape should perfectly align. And there it is. Now pause the video and have a go at doing this next one. Be sure to look closely at each part of the reflection so you don't make any silly mistakes. Alright, the answer is E. If you got that one, then well done for looking closely at the pattern on the reflection. If you didn't already spot that the question has a diagonal line inside of the circle, when reflected, this diagonal line also changes as it's part of the figure, therefore making E the correct answer. The final example for today's lesson is a horizontal reflection. We can spot this due to the reflection line being underneath the question. Now all this really means is that what's on the top now simply goes at the bottom, or what's at the bottom goes to the top. Remember the shape and size doesn't change, just the position. If you flip a triangle facing downwards, the opposite of that is upwards, therefore both D and E can be eliminated, as they are not facing upwards. I've also spotted that B has its triangle completely spread out, so that can't be the answer either. Leaving us now with A or C. If you remember previously I said that what's at the top goes to the bottom and what's at the bottom goes to the top when flipping a figure horizontally. Well, the triangle at the bottom should now be seen at the top and if we flip it, the figure matches up with C, which is our final answer. That's it for today's lesson on the odd one out. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this, and I'll talk to you in the next one.